Hello, my name is Danielle Bailey and welcome to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. In today's session, we're going to be talking about creating a basic data dictionary in Pathfinder Office for use in TerraSync. The steps we will take to create our data dictionary are open Pathfinder Office, create a new data dictionary file, create features to collect, create attributes associated with features to collect, save data dictionary file, preview in TerraSync, and it's ready for use in the field. What is a data dictionary? A data dictionary is a framework for collecting data and attributes about your data. It's usually based on the schema from an associated GIS and it streamlines your data collection. Some benefits of using a data dictionary are it can cut down on the need of uh, notes in field collection or um, having to enter in attributes when you get back from the field. There are six different attribute types that can be used when creating a data dictionary within Pathfinder Office. The first is menu, a multiple choice option. This allows the creator of a data dictionary to allow the user of a data dictionary to select from multiple choice options that best fits the features that are being collected in the field. The second, numeric. This is especially useful for collecting things like number of lights, anything where you would need just a number. Not a number in text, but just a number. Three, a text, pretty self-explanatory if you need to add a comment or a freeform field where somebody can enter in data that is either text or text and a number. Four, a date. This will auto-populate and give you a date of um, your update, when you visited, things like that. Time, also the time that you were at the feature. File name. The file name is an associated file or a photo, so this is especially useful if you are going out and collecting streetlights like we'll see in the example that I'll be showing later. Then you can have your field users take a photo of that specific feature so then all of your data is in one place. Like we mentioned before, then this cuts down a lot on the use of field notes and having to collate information once you get back to the office. Let's first take a look at the general generic data dictionary that comes standard with TerraSync. If you open up a new data file, click on dictionary name, generic, and hit create, we can take a look at the, at the generic data dictionary. And it gives us a generic point, line, and polygon. If we click on the generic point, we'll see that it just gives us a general comment field. Now we're going to cancel out of this and abandon the feature. And we can see for the line that it's the exact same setup as it was for the point. We're going to cancel out of this, abandon feature, and look at our polygon. And again, you can see that it just has the general comment field. Cancel, abandon feature, yes. We're going to start creating our data dictionary in Pathfinder Office under Utilities. We're going to open the Data Dictionary Editor. Now once this is open, we're going to want to give our data dictionary a name. I'm going to name this Tech Talk. And a comment. is the basic data dictionary. We're going to want to change the version to make sure that it's 5 and later because that's the version of TerraSync we're using. We're going to save and it'll save it as a data dictionary file. Now that we have our basic file created, we're going to make a new feature. We're going to call this feature name Lightpole. Now in the feature name, you're not going to want to have any spaces, but in the alias, you can have a space. That's what's going to show up in your, your data dictionary on your handheld. So we're going to want to leave this as a point, go to our default settings. We're going to leave it as one second in logging interval and make our minimum positions 10. Then that way we have 10 positions minimum before it'll save the feature. We're going to change the default symbol 
to a light pole. All right, then we're going to hit OK. We can change the color if we want, but we're going to leave it black. So now we're going to want to create a new attribute. So we'll click on New Attribute. We'll select the type and we're going to select Menu. And we're going to create a menu of conditions for our field users to choose from. So our name is going to be Condition. Our alias, which will show up in our data dictionary, will be Condition of Light. So we're going to click on New and type in Good. Then we're going to click on Add. We're going to add Fair, Add, Pour, Add, and Close. This way, our field users will have the options to choose from those three versus adding in their own. Next, we're going to add a numeric. This is going to be the number of lights on our light pole. We're going to leave our decimal place as a zero, our minimum one, our maximum 10, and our default one. We're going to click OK. We're going to add a text field for a comment. We're going to leave most of this defaulted. So our name is going to be comment length 30. And then we're going to hit OK. We're going to add in a date. So we're going to add in date for our name and date of update. The first box is checked so it will auto generate the date on creation, but that can be manually changed in TerraSync if we need to. So we'll hit OK. We're also going to add a time. So we're going to have the time visited at the feature. And this also is an auto generate on creation. So we're going to hit OK. And lastly, we're going to create a file name. So we're going to click on file name. We're going to name it photo. So when we add our data dictionary, we can save a photo. So we'll hit OK. Now we're going to close out of this. We're going to save. And we're going to add a new feature. So we'll do the same setup, just with a line and an area. So for our feature name, we're going to name it Power Line. Change it to a line. Go to our default settings. We can change the logging interval. That'll show up on our handheld, but we're just going to leave it as default for one second. We can change it to distance if what need be. On line style, we can change the thickness and color, so we're going to change the color to red. Hit OK. So we're going to take a quick pause and I'm going to uh, update those other features and when we come back, they'll have attributes as well. So if you look, I've created a light pole, power line, and a ground cover. Um, and they all have attributes, so what we're going to do is we're going to preview in TerraSync so we can get a feel of what it'll look like in the field. Now you don't need to have a licensed version of TerraSync on your PC to preview it. You would just download it and not put in a license code. So if you see it'll show we've got our test for a data dictionary and all of our features that we've created show up. So we're going to look at a light pole. So the condition of a light pole you see we made a menu. So we'll have a drop down with our options. We have a number field for our lights, text field for our comments, a calendar drop down for our date updated, time visited, it'll auto populate that, and then down below we've got a photo. Now if you're using a newer unit, um, it will give you the option to take a photo with your unit. It'll just give you a little icon of a camera. You just click on that and you can take a picture. So we're going to cancel out of this and look at our other features. So we're going to look at our power line. And the same, the same structure applies. We've got good, fair, poor, number field, text field, date field, time, and photo. And lastly, our ground cover, our polygon. We've got our drop-down, number, 
comments, date updated, time visited, and photo. Now that we're finished with our data dictionary, we would use the transfer tool in Pathfinder Office to put it onto our handheld. This concludes Frontier Precision's Tech Talk. We hope that you found it beneficial and will join us again next time.